Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Leos. And this is just a little midweek check-in for you. I'll be using my Neoteric Feminine deck. And to clarify, well not clarify, I'll be pulling you a card from the Awakened Soul Oracle deck. So let's see what messages we have for you, Leo. So Leo, this is for you. The Seven of Pentacles, you planted something not too long ago. You're about to harvest your rewards. The Two of Pentacles, you're feeling a little off balance financially, but seems like you're going to be harvesting your rewards pretty soon, or maybe you harvest them already. Then why are you off balance? You got too many priorities on your plate, maybe. You got the Ace of Pentacles here. This is a new financial opportunity for you. It's going to bring you some stability and security. Um, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is in the past for you. Maybe you were feeling kind of emotional not too long ago. And maybe now you're feeling fine. I'm not sure. We'll keep going. Or maybe this is a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio that's in the past. Someone that, you know, was um, had some ties to you or something. Um, you got the Four of Swords here. You need to take a break of whatever it is that you've been doing and working on. You need to take a break, okay? Um... It's about peace. You need to recuperate from something. I'm not sure what that is. Um, the hermit, you need to start going within and start trusting yourself. Okay, whatever is going on, you can always take care of it. You just got to trust you no matter what. Okay. And then with this new financial opportunity, it gives you some burden. It gives you a whole bunch of responsibilities on your plate. What's going on? Got you some stress, duty stress. So whatever it may could be work, maybe something to do with work is stressing you out. You know, maybe you got a lot. They expect so much of you, you know, and maybe you can deliver. You never know. You are Leo after all. So just put, just focus on the goal, you know, and go through the motions that you have to go through. But you got the ten of um, wands here. Okay, so there might be, might be, might have been a promotion or might have been a job that has a lot of responsibility. Um, the Five of Wands, there's some kind of conflict around it. I'm not sure. Um, only you know what the conflict would be. Uh, maybe there are arguments, tension, um, clashing of egos, maybe. The Page of Cups, your head, are, your head is in the clouds. Oh, you may need to start using your intuition. Trust yourself. And then you got the emperor. I say stability. But you see, you have to feel it. You have to do things with your heart. You have to open up for love. To love you and be loved. And to give love. You know? And things will straighten out. Eh, it's a little rocky. A little conflict. It's part of life. But whatever you desire, you can come out of. You can do it. I 100% feel that you can. So let's see what other message we have for you. Oh, two. No, that's two. I'm not going to read three. Let's go again. Thank 
sanctuary. And since my hand had touched two of them earlier. Gift. So sanctuary. The sanctuary card is asking that you give yourself some grace and space. If you pressure yourself to be constantly productive and, and achieving, you may feel guilty allowing yourself downtime. Okay. Allow that guilt to go bye-bye. When was the last time you spent... When was the last time... When was the last time you spent time creating sacred space for yourself? Life can be a little bit like a battlefield at times. Creating sanctuary in your home and with all the people you love is so vital to your emotional, mental, and physical and spiritual health. You may find rituals, being out in nature, or aligning the energy of your home is enough for you. Out in nature is some of the best, really and truly. Your relationships and other awakened souls can be a sanctuary. Can you create an intentional space of retreat in your home for yourself and the people you love? Can you leave all outside worries and stresses at the door and support each other in your journey? Nature is a temple. A swim in the ocean or a hike in the woods may be the best way to recharge. The affirmation is, I allow myself time and space to recharge. You do, you need to do that for yourself. And the next one is gift. Oh, excuse me. Gift. Did you know that you are the most valuable gift on this planet? The gift card has arrived in your reading today to remind you of this message. The biggest gift you can give others in the world is to be who you really are. Sharing your gifts, love, passions, and creations with the world without filters or dimming your shine. This card also represents a time of blessings coming your way and being received. Align yourself with the energy by say, staying open and grateful for the blessings in your life. Being ever ready to accept more. There is an art to receiving humbly and graciously. There is an art of receiving humbly and with graciousness. Often people find it easier to give than receive. This may be a sacred challenge for you, to you to accept more positive things in your life and about yourself. Don't let anyone take your gift of belief and magic, belief, belief in your dreams, your spirituality, your work in the world, and most importantly, yourself. Keep the gift you were born with an open heart. The affirmation is, I, op I am open to the gifts all around me. Keep the gift you were born with, an open heart. You haven't forgotten how to love, you know. You got this. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon.